high school. It's a time in our lives where we learn, make friends that stick with us forever, and cherish the moments that we have. In high school, there's always labels. Nerds, geeks, jocks, goths, emos, preps, loners. Then there's the outcast. I never understood labels. We are all the same. We are all human. Why can't we treat each other the same? You're probably wondering, what's your label, Griffin? I don't have one. And I don't want one. Madison and Danny describe me as an outcast. But I know I'm much more than that. Hey! Uh, so I thought maybe since we're partners for the assignment, who we could be- What, friends? Y yeah I'm new and I don't know anyone. Look, Len is it? Yeah. I don't need friends. I haven't had friends in a long time and I don't plan on having friends anytime soon. Wait, look, okay, see, we're the same. I, I haven't had friends since I was seven years old. Come on, please. If I became her friend, everyone would pick on her. Madison and Danny would bully her just like they do to me. I don't want that for someone like her. She deserves better than me. What do you say? No. Don't take it the wrong way. She doesn't usually talk to anyone. Oh. She wasn't always like that. Did you know her? Y yeah. We always got the same classes. She was a very lively and fun person to be around. But, I don't know, something changed after a while, her friends turned on her and her boyfriend cheated on her. And then something personal happened, but she wouldn't tell anyone. I mean, why would she? Everyone just started to act like she never existed. Did you and her... No, no. Griffin and I are like brother and sister. No attraction towards each other. Griffin's her name? Yeah, Griffin Gray. Hmm... Did you ever try to help her? I tried, but she pushed me away, and I lost a good friend of mine. I'm sorry, I didn't know, or I wouldn't- What? Try to be her friend? No, I'd still try. I would have just tried harder, I guess. Keep trying. She could use a friend like you. Uh... Lynn. Ah, uh, right. I'm Styles. Nice to meet you, Styles. You too. What if she keeps rejecting my friendship, though? Just keep trying, Lynn. But she rejected your friendship. You're different. I'll see you around, Lynn. 
Now, for those who need extra credit, I suggest you all join a club of some sort or do an extra assignment. Miss Gray, would you come here for a moment? Miss Gray, you've been failing my class all year. What's going on? It's nothing. I'm just having a hard time understanding some of the assignments, that's all. All right, well, I have arranged a private tutor for you. But I- Miss Gray, this isn't a punishment. He's just going to be helping you. This way you'll understand what's going on in this class. I also highly suggest on you joining a club of some sort. I'm not really into clubs. Just think about it, okay? Okay. Mr. Viles will be your tutor. John Viles. He's my tutor? Out of everyone in this entire school, and she puts me with him. John Viles is a prep. One of the cool kids, as people would say. He's a ladies' man. Every girl would kill to be his girlfriend. He's probably just like every other guy on the planet. The ones who lead you on dump you and break your heart. Uh, hi, I'm John. John Viles. You must be... <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Oh, alright. You keep looking at me. Do I have something on my face? N no Then what? N nothing. <sighs> if you say so. Well, wait, let me walk you home. I can get there by myself. It's getting dark, you shouldn't go alone. I'm not a little girl. I never said you were. Fine. Are you coming or not? Uh, uh yeah, coming. How could anyone ever call her crazy or insane? She seems like a nice and normal girl to me. <laughs> do, do, do you like cats? I do. You seem to love them. Yeah. I had one when I was younger, but he ran away and I never saw him again. Maybe you should take that one home with you. Oh, no, my mom wouldn't allow that. I hope it finds a good home, though. Uh, I'll take it home with me. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. This is my house. Um, make sure to take care of that cat until I can find a stable home for it. I will. I promise. <laughs> Don't make a promise you can't keep. What's so bad about her? Why does everyone misjudge her? Hey, Declan, I have a question. Yeah? Do you know anything about Griffin? <sighs> I knew you asked me about her. Adam told me. But from what I've heard, no one has managed to actually have a conversation with her. Why do people call her crazy? She's always writing in that little journal diary thing. Some of the students are afraid of her. She never talks or even glances at anyone. She doesn't even smile. I heard from a female student that she saw her knock over students' tables and basically trash the whole classroom. After that, she was distant. 
I think she was just misjudged by everyone. Even if that was true, her reputation around the school and town are pretty low. Is that why she doesn't have any friends? That could be a reason. I don't have a bunch of information about Griffin. Why were you so interested in this girl? I don't know. There's just something different about her. Don't go falling for someone like her, John. Uh, come on. It's not like that. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, I'm having a party and I need my best friend there. Adam said he'd bring the food. Mmm, I'm supposed to tutor Griffin. You're tutoring her? Yeah, it's not like I had a choice though. Ugh, make sure you don't get caught being seen with her. Mmm, she isn't as terrible as everyone thinks. Oh please, I'll prove it to you. What? what De Declan, wait! Hey, Stiff Griff, I was wondering if you wanted to come to my hair... <laughs> tea. No. What a psycho! Are you okay, John? Uh, I'm fine, I guess. Let's get you to the nurse. Jeez, what a nut job. <laughs>